We now have some idea what the FBI sees from the Mar-a-Lago residence after that search warrant was unsealed. Even though it's still pretty generic, agents taking more than two dozen boxes of documents, some they say containing classified records. But President Trump says it was, quote, all declassified. Monica Crowley served in the Trump administration and as Assistant Treasury Secretary, and she joins us now to react. Good morning, Monica. Good morning, guys. Great to be here. You know, we've talked this morning about President Trump's ability to declassify. I want to ask you a little bit of a different question right now. It's been suggested by The Washington Post that somehow the nuclear codes were involved in the items looked for here by the FBI. How believable is it that if it were about the nuclear codes, the FBI would wait three days from the issuance of the warrant and 18 months in negotiations over the retrieval of the nuclear codes? Yeah, the absurdity of this, guys, tells you that the regime has jumped the shark with this raid, and they are clearly aware of that. That is an outrageous assertion that somehow Donald Trump had our nation's most sensitive nuclear secrets, but they waited a year and a half to go get them. I mean, what's next, that he's hiding nuclear missiles under his bed? The whole thing is absurd. And while there is uh, some outstanding questions about classification, and we've been going back and forth on that issue, and perhaps that does need to be litigated all the way to the Supreme Court, we don't know that yet. But what we do know is that this is the latest in a long line of abominable acts against this president to try to undermine him, try to smear him, and ultimately try to destroy him remove him from the U.S. political scene. And everybody is talking about the particulars of the Russia hoax or the two fake impeachments or January 6th, but nobody is teasing it out to the broader question of why he is under constant mm -hmm. assault. Mm -hmm. And guys, the only reason for that is because he is an existential threat to the entire ruling class and their absolute grip on power, and therefore he must be destroyed. You're right. And, uh do you think, though, they anticipated the backlash? Do you think Merrick Garland would have anticipated that potentially this raid made it more likely that Donald Trump is the GOP nominee as everyone falls behind him? I mean, did they, what aspect of this did they think through and what were they looking for? What do they hope to get out of this? Well, you know, the left and the deep state, permanent bureaucracy, the media, all of Donald Trump's enemies, they can't stop. Like, they literally can't not do this because they are so consumed not only with hatred of him and opposition to all of his very successful policies that got this country back on track, but they're also extremely threatened uh, by his challenge to their grip on power and to the regime's entire corrupt status quo and the gravy train that goes along with it. So, therefore, they must try to stop him at all costs. But, of course, this is starting to backfire. And this raid and mm -hmm. everything that's going along with it has actually put Donald Trump on steroids. And I think if there were any question in his mind about whether he's going to run again, I think yeah. they made that decision for him. And I also think that they probably set him on a glide path to winning the presidency again in 24. I agree, Monica. I think they kicked off his campaign. And a lot of people that I know that were kind of on the fence about Trump are, are now fully on board, if nothing else, um, because of yep. what just happened this weekend or this week. Monica, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Always Monica. great insight. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.